We all know what pushing a speaker towards the wall, the rear wall does to the sound. It basically increases the bass output, increases the overall sound volume and output levels of a speaker. So this is no exception for the Sonos Arc as well. When you push it back against the wall, the sound level output increases. But one of the best ways to mount the Sonos Arc is actually to use the specially fabricated Sonos Arc wall mount kit for the Sonos Arc. It has a special advertised feature which includes a magnet somewhere along this mount that will tell the Sonos Arc that it's mounted against the wall and therefore it will activate an EQ profile that reduces the sound output so as to reduce the resonance from the wall. But this is not a feature that all of us enjoy. So since the last video which I've done, you can check it out up here. I've tried to figure out a way which we can still use this wall mount kit, a very well-made wall mount kit with the Sonos Arc, but still not activate the special feature of having the EQ cut back on the sound output levels. Let's find out in this video today how I managed to do that. So like most of my videos, I give you my answer up front. No exception for this time and this is what I'm going to show you. I have cut out the Sonos Arc here. There's a flap here. I don't know if you can see it. Yep. And I removed and ripped out the magnet from the wall mount. So without the magnet and no means for the Sonos Arc to detect that it's actually being mounted to this specially made wall mount kit for the Sonos Arc, it doesn't activate the profile. So that's all. Here's the answer for you up front. If you have time, I urge you to stay around, stick with me while I go through the process of me discovering how I arrive at this solution and maybe even give you some more options that you can do to warm out this Sonos Arc. So if you appreciate my style of doing videos, which is to give you the answer to my question up front, please do consider subscribing and you can get more of such videos, especially with regards to wireless audio products. I pay special attention to Sonos because I like the ecosystem. I'm heavily invested in the Sonos ecosystem and their products sound great. So let me tell you about the journey of the Sonos Arc and how I tried to emulate the Sonos Arc wall mount that was made specially for the Sonos Arc. I have learned that they actually use a magnet of source to go to the back of this Sonos Arc so that when it detects that there's a magnet, the Sonos Arc will activate a sound profile. I wanted to find out for myself how it changes the sound before I commit to buying this wall mount kit. So what I did initially was I got a couple of fridge magnets and I went around the back of the Sonos Arc trying to figure out where it will pick it up. But I couldn't figure it out or rather the sound profile didn't change at all after applying a couple of magnets to the back of the Sonos Arc. So I could not emulate the wall mount. So I caved in and I bought a brand new Sonos wall mount kit. Nobody was really selling it secondhand anyway, given that this product is so new. So when this arrived and I fitted it on, I made a few measurements. If you are interested in that video, do check out this link right up here above, where you will find out the actual sound profile changes that the Sonos Arc wall mount does for the Sonos Arc. Effectively, it reduces the output volume which is said to reduce the resonance. You may get a little bit clearer sounds, but at the expense of a big loss in the sound output from 100 Hz to about 500 Hz. So after I got this Sonos Arc wall mount kit and mounting it or rather using it with the Sonos Arc automatically activates the reduced sound output levels. There was no way in Sonos S2 app where you can control that or it's not even an option for you at all to change this setting. It will activate the sound output reduction if you're using this kit. Now, what if you enjoy this wall mount kit? It is very well made, very sturdy, and it's very low profile, very clean. It mounts the Sonos Arc properly, but you don't want the reduced sound output. So I went about trying to figure out how I can make this happen so that you can still keep using this Sonos Arc, very well made Sonos Arc wall mount, and yet not suffer from reduced output. So in trying to deactivate this sound profile change, I tried a couple of things. Now, how you use this is that the Sonos Arc is going to be mounted and slotted on this wall mount kit. So the magnet is somewhere here. This is you facing the wall mount kit, facing the Sonos Arc, it's to your right. And this 
area here about two inches away from this slot here you will find that there is a magnet there you can't see it if you press down hard enough you'll see that it forms a cavity where the magnet is sitting and that is where the magnet is so what i did was to try to insert things between this wall mount and the sonos arc in order to kind of deactivate the magnet so first the easiest way out i tried a name card i put it in between and i mounted it not thick enough didn't work then i found one of these things this is uh one of those steel plates that you put behind your phone so that you can attach it to those dash mount kit which uses a magnet to keep your phone st steady on the dashboard it's quite thin if you can see well you can't even really see the thinness so it is a steel plate magnetic in nature so i thought it might disperse the magnetic field a little bit well you see the magnet is inside it holds up there okay so then i mounted it on still it didn't change anything the eq was still being activated so that didn't work as well then i took a fridge magnet so this fridge magnet not very thick okay but uh well it's a magnet so you stick onto it and i moved it to the back i mounted it so this comes in between the sonos arc and the wall mount trying to block the magnet here still didn't work so three things i've tried it doesn't work then i thought ah how about aluminum foil maybe it'll work i don't know so of course one side too thin i folded it for two ply didn't work i folded it for four ply didn't work i folded it again for eight ply and of course i tried to flatten it out a little bit so that it doesn't scratch it didn't work if i tried another fold for 16 it was too thick and it wouldn't fit now anything that you fit in between this sonos arc wall mount and the sonos arc is going to mean that there could be a potential that is going to rattle and is not as secure as if you were to tighten everything down now the back of the sonos arc you will see that they have these two hooks these two screws which comes with the sonos arc wall mount kit you put it on and the moment you mount this guy after that when you want to mount the sonos arc you just put it on and slot it down in and it holds it very very securely so if you want to slot anything in between the wall mount kit and this so that it doesn't sit so flush and you have some space to slot in things to block the magnetic view then you're gonna have to loosen the screw a little bit and when you loosen the screw a little bit the whole thing is not going to be as stable and slightly to wobble i tried one more thing and that worked this is why i tried this is a paint scraper it is not a very thick piece of steel it's still pretty thin but thick enough so this is what i did but what's going to happen is that you're going to have the paint scraper stick out of the sonos arc i'm not sure if this is the look you're after but if that is something that you want then by all means go ahead it does block the magnet such that it will not activate the eq to reduce the sonos arc output for me it wasn't going to work i won't think i want to mount my sonos arc with a paint scraper on the right side of the sonos arc if anything i would prefer that i mount two so at least it looks balanced the mic is muted but if this paint scraper is not your thing then there was only one choice out take this out again this is against the wall if you look at it to your right around this point here the last horizontal slot you're gonna try to locate where the magnet is okay i'm gonna show you one side okay here okay if you press down really really hard can you see the indentation yep this is where the magnet is so this is what i did right i went in and i cut on the inside so this is the side that is facing the sonos arc the back side is the side that is facing the wall okay so i went in i cut a three-sided flap i didn't cut a whole square to remove that magnet just a three-sided flap and if you remove it this is what you'll see 
You see that? There is a magnet there. Now you can remove the magnet. It is going to be hard because there are sticky stuff there that will secure this. What I did was I took a SIM ejector pin. I went to the other side and I poked it right through to remove this magnet from the mount. So there you have it. This is the magnet and this is ripped off from the Sonos Arc wall mount. It's a very strong magnet. It's very, very strong. You can is once it gets attached to metal okay and this is probably the reason why all my previous attempts to try to activate this didn't work so the moment you remove this magnet out okay this is the three-sided flap that I cut out seal it back you see it doesn't even look like you cut anything out very nice rubber okay then mount it the EQ the special feature is not activated blissful success Eureka whatever one stupid magnet just this piece <sighs> don't go yet there's one very, very important tip that I need to warn you about. So don't stop the video right away. Hang on. Why did I cut a three-sided flap? So that I will never ever lose this flap. You can cover it back up. This magnet here is dangerous. It's easy to lose. What if you lose this? Basically, you cannot have a choice of activating that special feature even if you wanted to in the future for whatever reason. So what I will suggest is you keep this somewhere safe. But I have another tip for you later. Okay, I'll share with you in a bit. Otherwise, cover it back up, three-sided, so you never lose this piece of rubber. Very important tip here. If you take a very, very close look at the magnet that you just removed, okay, I'm going to show you. I'm not sure if you can see. If not, I'll put up the picture up here. Right, there is a letter N that is inscribed here. Now, N on a magnet means north. So this is the north face, north face of the magnet. I actually took note that the north face was facing the inside, the back of the arc. That means the north, when mounted on the wall, is facing towards you, the listening position away from the back wall sorry i need to get this very very clear why because if you put this magnet back in the wrong way around it disables the special feature now this is very important listen if you want the special feature back to its original form you've got to put it back in with the north side of the magnet facing you towards the listening position. On the other hand, it also means that if you face the back, if you reverse the direction of this magnet and put it back in, cover it up and use this Sonos Up mount as intended, the beautiful thing is that it doesn't activate the special feature and you're not going to be losing your magnet because you're going to keep it safe within the flap that I've cut out in the cavity where it belongs. So there you go. It is the perfect place to store the magnet. So remember this very important tip. You cut out the magnet with a three-sided flap, rip it out. There's an N on the magnet. If you face the magnet N towards you, the listening position, the special feature is activated. If you face the magnet the other way around with the end facing the rear, the back of the wall, the special feature will not be activated and you will get boosted sound output 
from the Sonos Arc. So think about this tip that I have given you today. I think it is a pretty valuable tip if you have been wondering how to mount your Sonos Arc without it changing the sound profile of the Sonos Arc then I have provided you the answer today. If you think that this is of any value to you at all, please do consider leaving a small contribution to my coffee fund using my Patreon account. Imagine how much I would have saved you in trying to figure out how to make this work. And I tried so that you don't have to. I experiment with it so you don't have to. Today's answer, I hope it benefits you in no small amounts. Remember, even if you don't make any contribution towards my coffee fund on Patreon account, it doesn't mean that you're not welcome here. I still do welcome you here. Listen to my videos, watch it. I'm happy to build a small community here and trying to share my knowledge. So do consider subscribing and leave a like for this video if you have found it helpful and useful. Now, what if you don't even want to go through this whole trouble of cutting out the magnet? Well, what you can do is to consider some of the alternatives that I found. These are new edition, new listings on Amazon. So take a look at this. Here I have two of them. One is an acrylic mount and the other is actually made of stainless steel as well. So the acrylic one is $39. It is a little bit cheaper than the stainless steel one at $49. But effectively, these mounts are going to be shorter than this original mount. So you can be sure that there will be nothing, not even a magnet that will trigger this special EQ on the Sonos Arc. I don't think it's a feature. I don't know why they think it's a feature. If you wanted to make it a feature, then you allow us to change it or not change it through the Sonos S2 app. Why? Why make it automated this way? It sounds like an over complex solution to a problem that shouldn't even be there in the first place. Just allow the EQ to Take care of it. Allow us to flip a switch on the Sonos S2 app. What is so difficult? So do consider these two solutions. They are $10 apart. One is priced at $39 and the other is priced at $49 for the stainless steel version, which is which looks to be equally well made. I don't know. I haven't touched it. I haven't felt it before, but it also says that it's silicone coated to prevent scratches to the wall as well as to the Sonos Arc itself. Now, the final part of today's video it is very interesting. Now, it got me thinking again, right? Initially, why did I fail to activate the EQ, the special feature on the Sonos Arc by moving magnets along the back of where I think the pickup is? Then I realized that this guy is pole oriented. So remember I talked about the end. If the end is facing the correct way, then the EQ is activated. But then I realized one thing that it is not a magnet pickup here. It is not just simply attraction. It probably uses a push, a repulsion, right? So the repulsion inside this, with the knob here, there is a knob receptor inside here. And when knob meets knob, it repels, right? Opposite attracts, but when knob meets knob, it repels. And when it pushes it forward, somewhere inside, it probably activates the switch that turns on this special EQ. And this magnet, this small little thing here, it is very strong. I don't know how to explain how strong it is to you, but uh, it's a terribly strong magnet. Okay, this is... I don't know if the sound means anything to you, but if you were to try to remove it with your fingers, it's not even easy. I have to slide it off to the side before I can lift it off. This is a very strong magnet, which explains why none of the previous solution I did, none of the previous magnets I tried to pass over the back works. Then it got me thinking, what if I don't use this mount, but for any strange reason, I want to activate that special EQ that this guy has. Tape mounted here on the tape, such that the knob is facing forward and then go to the rear of the Sonos Arc. If you look from the top of the Sonos Arc, there are vents. If you count four of these slots, this is where the receptor is. Paste it there. Voila, you would have activated the special EQ of the Sonos Arc. 
I hope this video has been helpful to you. Even if you're not going to be wall mounting, it should at least be interesting for you to figure out the kind of engineering, the kind of thinking that Sonos engineers have put into this piece of accessory. I'll see you in my next video.